want to see me, Highness? It's a fair win in two more days. Your Highness must be looking forward with great anticipation to your wedding. My lady. My lady. My lady. I want you to leave. Do you? Yes. No. Pity. Have any of the women you bedded ever lied about their virginity? Their virginity? Mm -hmm. I'd say it's the other way around. Did any of them not lie about it? Why'd you ask? I ask Your Majesty's forgiveness. What's this? Dismount your horse! He's down! Good morrow. Come with me. A good kill. Do you want to go back to the palace? No. So somewhere around here we can stay. Uh, that's Wolfhall. Wolfhall. Who owns that house? Sir John Seymour and his family. I remember Sir John. He was in France with us. Let's go surprise him. <laughs> Sir John, you have an unexpected guest. Your Majesty must forgive the tardiness of my kitchen. I think I'm very well looked after, Sir John. The Duke and I were reminiscing about the French campaign. Ah, yes. It was a shame we only fought one battle against them. Mm. Ah, but what a battle. I do not know how we can stand it. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't the man that that woman gives herself to always be happy? I'd say he'd be beyond happiness, Majesty, in a higher state altogether. I feel almost like a new man, Charles. I'm no longer vexed by the things that before vexed me daily. And even my legs beginning to heal. Sex. Great medicine. Indeed. We live mostly apart. Take a mistress. I'd rather make her love me again if I could. <laughs> Majesty. And a kinsman! Both lances against the French. The knights did in the old days. Well done. What's your name? Richard, your grace. My lord, men dismissed. Your grace, your grace. We meet at a desperate moment, my lord. As men I do have, I cannot altogether trust. Still, the king has urged us to attack as soon as possible. His majesty would not do so if he saw our plight with his own eyes. I have almost no horsemen, and those I do have are rather the flower of the north.
Crown, I catch the next one. Well, look. Tell me you can see it. 